Good morning. Uh, starting to get slightly light out. I'm hoping you can see. But I've got Tom with me. Thomas. As we were pulling in, another gentleman named Mike was pulling up. And we're in San Diego, I'm happy to say. It's been probably three months since I put my feet in the sand in San Diego. Uh, I had my road trip back to Virginia and all the Civil War stuff, which was awesome. Prior to that, it was a few weeks before I was in San Diego. I've been in L.A., and uh, just Northern California, uh, but I'm excited to be back in San Diego, long story short. Anyhow, we're in San Diego. We've got a negative 1.0 low tide. Peak low tide is an hour and a half. And I've got a good feeling. We can see all the, the kelp kind of piled up here on the beach, the water, and high tide's been coming pretty, pretty well up the beach. There's not much dry sand to speak of. High hopes. Let's get out there, see you on the first dig. All right, first tone is out here in the water. I walked quite a while before I heard this tone, so. Low teens, more towards 13 than anything. Showing six inches deep. In the scoop. Something small. Let me grab this before the water does. Let's go kick it around a little bit. Uh-oh, did I lose it? I see it. I turn a light on. There we go. Some cast aluminum piece. Junk. Well, it is slim pickings. We're not hearing any tones, but Thomas came up with that. Uh, necklace pendant. It's really heavy. That'd be cool if it's yellow, or uh, what do they call it? Rose gold? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> High hopes. We'll have a good look. We'll take some good photos. See if somebody else can find something as well. I haven't even found a coin yet. All right. I kind of have a tone. It's not very clear. But I'm digging it. I dig something. Can't just walk around the beach all morning. mid teen mid to high teens. See something greenish. What are you? There's a fishing lure, I believe. Fishing weight with... It might be way wrong. Copper. I'm trying to shoot. I think I felt a hook, but I guess not. I don't know. We'll clean that up later. See what the heck that is. Thomas had a solid nine, and we see a ring. Let's see. Let's see the reveal. Is it going to be stainless or gold? I think it's stainless. I can't see with my eyes, but it's still light. Yeah, that's a ring. Yeah, it's stainless. It's light because it's thin, but it does have weight to it. But hell, Thomas is killing it. Nothing but jewelry so far. <laughs> and can <Kanslaw. laughs> Right on. My turn. This sounds so bad, I gotta dig it. Rejecting most of the time, but. I don't know, I was just screaming at me when I walked over it, so... Let's see. Alright, I see some copper. Ooh, okay. Something. Are these gold nail clippers? No, that's a hair, hair pinch thing. Hey, better than nothing. I'll take it. All right, 
halfway decent tone. Unfortunately, it's ringing up towards Penny. But it's a tone. I'm relying on Thomas to pull in more jewelry for us. To keep us entertained. I think I see green again. Okay. Green's always interesting. That is what remains of a key. Look how long that's been in the sand. It's been mangled. Alright. That is a pull tab. Usually that would ring 14. Oh well. Low teens. Hitting 14 more than anything, which means pull tab probably. But you never know. We'll see. It's in the scoop. Sand crabs. And it looks like a watered up piece of aluminum. It's a big sand crab. Look at that guy. Trash cleanup. Not a bad place to be. Tom's approaching and uh, he gave me the nod. Let's see the goods. Oh, oh, I got something. I got nothing. Thomas is, uh, he's winning so far. And he's still winning. Like a, I what they call that rainbowy. Feather of pearl? Yeah. That's got a 925 in there. Okay, you're winning because that's actually silver. Nice. What else? Two dimes, one nickel. I don't even have pennies. a coin. <laughs> All right, there's Tom's pool. Seventeen out of the hole. It is not my day. That is more just junk metal. All right, since I'm finding absolutely nothing, I might as well entertain you otherwise. Ran into Fireman Rick, metal detectorist out here. We're talking Virginia, because he uh, lived there, he's detected there, and I do a lot of it as well. But look at this scoop. How cool is that thing? Serious leverage, and uh, you said he got it back in the 90s? Yeah. Something like that? But that is the craziest looking scoop, but imagine the leverage you could put on that thing. Right on. Penny tone. Maybe I'll get a coin finally on my way out. Yep, got a penny in there. Sad that that's exciting. It's gone from seven up to ten, sometimes twelve. That's exciting. There's a penny ringing up like that. So tarnished. Should be up near 20. Ugh. 
We saw a 12. Nickel, gold. It's not a nickel. Looks like a tarp rivet. Darn it. Well, here's my find of the day. I'll take it. I did have it. Piece of a toy car, painted. We've all got the I'm over it walk. Just walk fast, swing when necessary. <laughs> We're heading back to the car. We'll get some uh, good details on what they found. Wrapping up this hunt, this is all three of us combined. Here's my stuff. Find of the day was that plastic scoop, but I left it in a bucket. Kind of a give one, take one type thing for kids, so I left it there. Broken key, hair clip was my winner. Thomas, look at that fishing weight. That thing's huge, six ounce. Tie that someone's ankle and just send them to the bottom. Uh, Thomas coins that thing, no marks on it. And in the edges of everything, it's kind of pitted looking and weird, so I don't think it's uh, yellow gold. And then a stainless ring, which is really nice. Tom, his trash that says, I love Paris. Uh, nickel, dime, three pennies. That thing. And Tom wins with the 925 ring. Very small ring. So that is it for this hunt. We chased the low tide and uh, and that's it. So that's the reality of metal detecting. Not a ton of stuff, but they scored. I did not. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.